I'm Dizzy. That's Maxine. Hey, everyone. And we're just giving you a quick reminder. So um, World Transformation Organization, we do sit down Sundays. And Maxine Clancy was one of our guests about Relationship Month. But one of the things that she specializes in is how to end the relationship with love opposed to conflict. So Maxine, great yeah. to have you back. Just share us what share, just share what people can expect on Sunday. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and I just happened to pull this quote from literally while we were waiting to go live, and it said, "Kindness is the light of life." So, mm. yeah, like how we end a relationship affects our ability to create new relationships. So, what I like to help people to learn, teach them is how to end a relationship well with love, with kindness, with compassion. And so, you know, that not only can you know that you've shown up in your best, as your best self, yeah, but so that you can go on and you can start new relationships from a really healthy and clear perspective. Because let's face it, in the modern world that we live in today, it's very likely you'll have two or three significant relationships. And if those relationships don't end well, you're going to carry all that baggage with you. Mm. Um, you know, it's like, I read something the other day. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, it's, you know, the inability to forgive is like poisoning yourself, isn't it? It's like mm. you're doesn't affect the other person if you don't forgive someone unless someone's begging for your forgiveness but you know if you don't forgive them you're the one that's carrying around all that toxic all that negativity and it affects mm. the way we feel about ourselves it affects the way we feel about the future people that we meet in the future so it's really how can we do it with kindness how can we do it with love and compassion and also how can we take responsibility for the part we played in the relationship breakdown because when you can do that, it frees you up. You reclaim your power, you reclaim your energy. And it's such an important part of being able to move forward because, you know, if there's two people in a relationship, there's going to be at least three realities in that relationship. That's the way I like to look at it. There's yeah. no right or wrong. That's part of your, you know, your soul's journey has chosen to be in relationship with this person. So you can learn something. So yes. do it well and then you can go on and create, you know, hopefully and better futures. But also if you've got kids, it's so mm. important to teach them that even though the nature of love might change in a relationship, we can still be loving even when we no longer perhaps agree with someone. So, you know, it's that healthy dynamic. Okay, so perfect. So look, if you are in challenge in your relationship, if you have conflict, fear not. Maxine is going to give us some nuggets of wisdom yeah. that can help you either elevate your relationship or transform your relationship. It, it may be that you're going to have to go your separate ways, but how yeah. can you do that with love and empower your children yeah. instead of disempower them? So yeah. I'm looking forward to this. So Maxine, we're going to do an hour this time, okay? And are you okay Ooh, to start? Fantastic. At six? We can get really into it then. That's are, you, are you okay to start at six o'clock? Yeah. I six think. o'clock start for an hour. Make sure you lock in on Sunday on the World Transformation Channel. So you got to like, comment, and subscribe to join the tribe. That's the word. Lots of love. Um, See you Sunday. Okay. Bye bye.